Hi everyone, welcome to How Tech. My name is Sam. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notification every time I post a new video. Also, please like this video if it was helpful to you. Let's get started. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the OpenAI tool called ChatGPT to check your grammar and ask for any suggestion on the topic. So if you're working on a paper and you're not sure on how you are doing and how you have written the paragraph, you are not sure about the, uh, if you want any feedback, a general feedback from an AI, which is very smart, you can definitely do that. So if you have not signed up for ChatGPT, uh, there should be a video or link above on the right hand corner. You can check it out. I create a video on this, so please check that out. I also create a video on how you can use ChatGPT with Excel, how you can use your Excel skill and use them 10 times faster using ChatGPT. So there's a video for that as well in my library. So please check that out. You can also see that video at the end of this video. So yeah, let's, uh, for th this is specifically about the Word document and how you can improve your writing with ChatGPT. So let's get started. So this is the paper that I wrote a long time ago for, uh, for my uh, grad school. And it was about analyzing the world data. It was uh, uh, to analyze the world happiness uh, index. I wrote this paper. I actually, I think I did a pretty, uh, pretty well on this. But let's 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 ask ChatGPT how uh, I can improve this. So I'll just copy and paste the first paragraph right here. Copy it, and then so ChatGPT, you're signed up. You're in the chat. So here, I'll write. I will write that. Uh, uh, check for grammar and give any suggestions on uh, this paragraph. Okay, and I'll put the paragraph in uh, in a uh, quotation mark so it knows what paragraph I'm talking about. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the uh, Okay, so it says that this paragraph is grammatically correct, but could uh, could be more uh, concise. Here are some suggestions. So the data set obtained from uh, Kaggle.com was cleaned with no values, but to ensure the data was correct, I uploaded the CSV file. So it's sort of uh, going through the um, going through the paragraph and checking to see. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. The data was already in the first nominal form. It uh, the data which is obtained from Kaggle was clean. Okay, so these are some of the suggestions I think it is giving me uh, to how I can actually structure this paragraph. So it is saying that this paragraph is dramatically correct. Okay, let's maybe uh, make some typos into. Uh, let's uh, maybe yeah. Let's choose these two paragraphs. Let's see what it says when we actually. Choose some other paragraphs. Uh, let's do this and let's see. Uh, I'll just uh, let's, let's type it again. Check for grammar and give me any feedback on the on uh, this paragraph. And here in the quotation mark, oh, well, yes, in the quotation mark again. Okay. So now this is this uh, paragraph is grammatically correct, but could have made, uh, could be more uh, concise and cleaner. Here are some suggestions. So this project, okay. So it is kind of like uh, going to the paragraph and see if I can, if I can re, uh, rearrange some of the structure of the paragraph. So the project aims to investigate the relationship between the World Happiness Index, life expectancy, social support using data from the World uh, Happiness Report. I analyze various variables in GDP, perception of corruption, and their impact on happiness uh, ranking. Okay, so these are two of the suggestions that ChatGPT is giving me about this following this paragraph that how i can improve it uh let's let's uh, maybe i will look for something else let's see this one but this time i'll just make any mistakes in this so i'll just like miss some periods to see what it says okay check for 
uh, grammar and give me feedback on the above paragraph. Well, on the paragraph. Paragraph quotation. So writing them in quotation kind of helps because then the AI knows, well, AI will know eventually, but it will kind of, uh, it will kind of separate on where the paragraph starts. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so the paragraph is grammatically correct, but could be made more concise and cleaner. Here are some suggestions. So, okay, it seems like it is giving me uh, constantly suggestions. So I don't want any suggestions. Let's make any mistakes in this. And uh, we, it will be, let's see. I wanna just, I will, I will I wanna remove this. Uh, remove some grammatical errors. So it makes no sense uh, what the, uh, with uh, low corruption is, uh, let's see, other countries, let's remove R from here, uh, B, uh, okay, here we go, let's, let's see, let's see what it says now. Okay, now see, I made a lot of mistakes in the paragraph, I, I deleted some of the stuff now, it is saying that, hey, the uh, paragraph is grammatically incorrect, here are some of the suggestions to fix the grammatical issue, so it says that corruption is uh, one of the variable that measures the world happiness index. You know, figure 19 shows the relationship between the latter score and the percentage of corruption. Uh, the top five countries are clustered together along with trend line. However, countries uh, six to 10 follow the trend line, but they are more spread out. We can conclude that there is a relationship. Okay, so it's kind of giving me uh, the correct version on how I can improve it, but it is saying that this one is grammatically incorrect. So just know that this is the same paragraph that I gave it here. Here it was saying that it was grammatically correct, and but there I could, I could do some arrangement and that arrangement will be helpful uh, but here it is saying that it is grammatically incorrect and uh, it could be made, uh, well, and here are some of the issues, well, here are some of the suggestions that ChatGPT gave, gave me. So I can also ask it like, uh, uh, can you uh, write, can you give me uh, good topics to uh, research? Research for uh, World Happiness Index. So here are some of the topics of the World Happiness Index and investigating the relationship between GDP and World Happiness Index. This uh, research could examine how economic prosperity affect the... Okay, so the data set I used for writing that paper was from... Uh, I think it was from a World Happiness Index. It's, it's, it is an organization that kind of do surveys every year based on, it look for a lot of criteria, and then based on that, it determines on which country is on the top of the list for World Happiness Index. Uh, index. And uh, these are some, they have some of the parameters that you kind of have to compare. And uh, those, I think these were the parameters that I compared when I was doing the data analysis for, that data set. So investing in the relationship between GDP and the World Happiness and the research could examine how economic prosperity affect the happiness level across the country. That is very true. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you want to make sure that people who have a higher GDP have a higher uh, standards of living. And once they have a high standards of living, they are much happier because they have all the facilities, they have hospital roads, all the other facilities that they can get because uh, economically, that country is has a higher GDP per capita. So the impact of social support on the World Happiness Index, yes, very true. Social support is also very good. You want the government to take care of you, and uh, you also need friends and family to be there for you in time of need. So that also helps with World Happiness Index. So if you don't have any friends and you are a loner, uh, you are probably less happier.
Um, not necessarily, but more likely they will be less happier than people who socialize with friends, family, community, and they are there for them every time in time of need. And then examine the correlation between life expectancy and the well happiness ending. So you can definitely do that. People who tend to live longer uh, are educated. So all the if you look at all the developed countries, they are all the people who are sort of have a high uh, they have a high life expectancy. They tend to live happier and they have a high expect, uh, life expectancy because they have a better health care and better education. So if you have better education, that leads to better health care because you can you can uh, uh, you can have good doctors that are well trained in their fields and uh, they have all the tools and facilities available for them to train. And then they go up the ranks and then become good doctors and thus and they can help everyone uh, uh when they're sick and anything like that. So, uh, yeah, that does help. So the role of political stability in democracy and the World Happiness Index, this is also good. So if uh, people tend to be happier, if they have freedom of speech, if they have civil rights, they have political stability, uh, that does make sense. Uh, the impact of culture and tradition on the World Happiness Index. So the research could explore how culture, norm, values, traditions, very true. Again, very true. The relationship between perceived corruption and World Happiness Index. And this is very true uh, when there is corruption. Uh, the relationship with that, between that could be... Uh, it, it, it could be a uh, relationship between corruption and happiness is like very direct. So just imagine that if you live in a country where uh, there's so much corruption that people who are rich, they get away with literally anything. They can give away money and they can literally get away with the murder. But if you're poor, you uh, you, you, you get struggled for for even, you get in trouble for a lot of things or even small things. And that kind of... Uh, decrease your happiness level because majority of the people in any country is a middle class. Every country, almost every country, 90, about 80% of the people are a middle class. Upper class is usually one or 2%. There are not that many people in the upper class, but if there's so much corruption, the upper class can get away with literally anything. And the relationship between inequality and the world happiness ending, again, very true. You can, yes, this this is very true. The relationship between migration and world happiness index, yes, again, very true. This could uh, impact on how happy a country is or how uh, ha happy people are. The impact of uh, environmental quality on world happiness index, so the research could explore how factor can air quality access, very true again. Um, the impact of technology and communication on the World Happiness Index. So this research could examine how factors such as access to technology, social media, and communication affect happiness level. Uh, again, very true. If you have access to any of those things, you tend to be more vocal about things. You tend to be more aware of what's going on in the world. And then you compare yourself with, hey, this is what's happening in the world. Uh, why is this not happening to me? Why is someone in Sweden so happy? They have uh, the health care, they have this, they have that, but we don't have that. Our government is not giving this to us. So that kind of uh, make people depressed or make people less happy as well. So it, it does, it kinds of both positive and negative. So actually, yes, these are all very good suggestions on this topic. If I were to write a paper and I will definitely consider all these things to see if uh, I can use them in my paper and in, in my research paper. And when you are looking uh, to World Happiness Index, you kind of look at these. I think these are like 11 or 12 things that uh, are there. They, uh, these are 11 or 12, 12 criteria that they actually, uh, they, they merger and then they give them points. And then at the end, you get a happiness index where you see the country with the highest uh, a country with the highest rating gets like the top slot and uh, as you come down the uh, the 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 points get lower and so on so yeah the I think ladder score is what it kind of ladder score is what uh, establish at the countries at the top or at the bottom of the World Happiness Index. So this is very good though. I will definitely recommend everyone to check it out. If you have not signed up, there's a video. Uh, I uh, There's a demo that I did earlier. Uh, you can check out that video. There's also a video about me using uh, 
ChatGPT for Excel and how you can use ChatGPT to improve your Excel skills, uh, you can definitely check that out. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.